Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, now that we've seen the main kits from the 30 Minutes Sisters line, I think it's time we take a look at some of the option sets of which there's already a handful of them out and I'm sure many, many more on the way. But we'll take a look at a number of them in today's video. I also have here some of the hairstyle option parts. So we've got a bunch of different stuff to look at in today's video, all stuff related to the 30 Minutes Sisters line. I hope you guys are excited to check this stuff out as I am. I'm looking forward to see how we can customize our kits with some of these parts. Let's go ahead and check them out. All right, so a lot of stuff to get through in this video and we'll just basically go through and take a look at each set individually first and then we'll try some different mixing and matching all at the end, seeing some different customized uh, kind of mashups that we can make with everything. So first up, this is the hairstyle parts volume one, all four types here in a box package together. You can get it like this. And for just a few hair parts, this box does seem quite large, but if we pop it open, here is what is gonna be on the inside. So these would be sold in like a store display like that, and you can kind of pick and choose which one you want here. So let's go, let's go ahead and go through these. Option one here is type pigtails, color pink there, so you can see that pink pigtails obviously would be great for making a miku custom you'd have to paint them or if you wanted to make like the sakura miku you could just not even have to paint it all and you got the colors right there for that so we'll take a look at this box in detail here for this first one but then we've got a bunch more we don't need to look at them all in great detail but here's what is in volume one so you got pink pigtails pigtails uh, type 2 which is like a shorter version there in yellow then we've got short hair in red which is a little bit different styling for that and then short hair too in navy so it's kind of two different styles of short hair there in red and in navy that's what we'll have in this set and then obviously these will work with the couple of different kits that have been released in the line so far as far like the main kits go so just pop the top and i can assume it's just going to be one small little runner in here like that well, actually two in this case and they're obviously in pink the instructions are just printed on the inside of the box there so you'll have to take the, pro the box apart in order to see those very clearly but i don't think we'll necessarily need those putting these on the kit should be pretty straightforward so here is hpb1 so hair parts uh b1 and b2 so there you got those in pink and i like that these are just one solid piece instead of two halves sandwiched together and you have a seam line and everything but they're solid pieces so that should be very nice. Those look great. Second option is pigtails type two in yellow. And there's a look at how those look on the kit on the front. The rest of the artwork, like I said, for this is gonna be basically the same. So let's just check out the runners. This one as well is two separate little runners here in yellow, B3 and B4 for those parts. Those look nice. These are gonna be two different parts they are put together for the shorter type pigtails looks like in this case. Option three is our short hair in red. Does look pretty cool. It reminds me a little bit, I know it's not exactly there, but it does remind me a little bit of like uh, the Major Kusanagi from Ghost in the Shell a little bit. Obviously it's not the right color, but just the style seems kind of similar to that. Anyway, here is runner A1 and A2 for those parts in red. And then our fourth and final option here in volume one is the short hair type two in navy blue color. It's kind of like a slightly purplish navy blue color. You got runner A1, which is actually the same as the uh, red here. So that one's gonna be the same, runner A1, but in this case, we've got runner A3 instead of H2. So between the two different uh, options of short hair, it's just the front half is different. The back half of the hair is all gonna be the same, looks like. All right, before we take a look at these on the actual kits, we'll also just take a look at box volume two here. So this one is going to be some more option parts. And even though volume one shows Rashetta on the front of there and volume two shows Taisha on the front of there, these should be able to be used with any and all of them. It just kind of, I think that's this one came out first around this around the same time as when uh, Rashetta came out and this box came out later around the Taisha came out. So that's who's pictured on the box, but they can really just be kind of used with anything. So. With this set here, if we take a look at the side, we're gonna have ponytail hair in a navy, ponytail hair option two in red, and then medium hair and medium hair one. Medium hair one is in brown, medium hair two is in purple there. So some cool options with this set there on the front. Obviously this is our ponytail hair one option in navy, it looks nice. And then around here on the back of the box, again, just talking about mixing and matching parts. On this side, it's showing the Taisha kit, how she is. That's the hairstyle option part that you get in the box, as we saw in the review. And then here's how you can change that. 
with these simple hair parts. So very good. Once again, with volume two, just like with volume one, the instructions are printed there on the inside of the box, so we won't look at those in great detail, but here is D1, and then we've got D3, which is the actual ponytail part, and then D2, which is the part for the front of the hair, which I'm assuming is gonna be the only part that's different about this set, and the next set, which is a ponytail hair two in red. Oh, but I guess looking at it, no, the actual ponytail is different and then the bangs are different and the actual ponytail is different and eh, all the hair is different okay well I guess I spoke too soon I was expecting these two sets to also share some parts but it doesn't look like that's gonna be the case so here's ponytail hair type 2 in red looks very nice let's get it popped open and take a look at those runners and by the way these are definitely in a different color red from what we saw in volume 1 this is the red from volume 1 which is a much more deeper red color this is more like a kind of light reddish orange kind of color so here's runner d4 and then we also got runner d6 and runner d5 there for those parts up next would be the medium hair number one option type and we got this in brown so an actual kind of realistic hair color for this one actually here's runner c1 and also runner c2 now this one and the next one it does look like are going to be sharing runners as the back of the hair looks the same for both of them. And I think it's just the front of the hair, the bangs, is going to be different between these two option sets. But here's medium hair one in brown and medium hair two in purple. Uh, yeah, it's just looking a little bit different there for the front between the two of them. Taking a look at the runners, we've got the same C1 runner there and then runner C3 here for the bangs piece for this one. There you go. Before we try some of these out on the actual kits, I will just say that the detail on them is quite sharp. So you have like some of these little hair bits and everything. So the detail on all these hair option pieces does actually look really quite nice. So I'm happy to see that. Up next, why don't we take a look at the option parts set Speed Armor. And once again, this is showing this in use in the illustration here on the front anyway with uh, Rishetta, but obviously these parts are gonna be compatible with basically anything. Although looking closely at the illustration, these do seem to be made to fit over the existing armor pieces that you do have with the Rashetta kit. So it does seem like it is especially made like to enhance that armor. But again, it's all kind of compatible it, it's just in terms of how you want to be creative with it. So you can get more creative and use these with kind of basically anything. And so for these, the instructions are just printed on the inside of the inner paper there, the packaging. There's a look at the parts list as well and here is the actual runners op1 to be option one runner a1 here is in orange runner a2 is here in gray and then runner uh, b1 is a couple of parts there in flesh tone so i guess they'll give you a little bit different parts there for the tops of the thighs basically and moving right along then we do also have some more options now these are option body parts so we've got option body parts color A and option body parts color B, but as you can see, the actual body parts are different here for these. So not only can you customize the hair and customize the armor, but you can also just customize the body itself. So you can see just like the uh, main torso section of the body is what we're gonna be altering here with these sets. So for set one, you've got a couple of images there showing the actual kit and then our actual main illustration here. Going on to the back is just kind of showing how you can again combine this with the 30 minutes missions line for some custom weapons to go along with now your customized kit. And once again, all the instructions and parts list, everything is all printed on the back side of the packaging here. Our A runner is here in four colors, that light lavender color, gray, black, and a skin tone up there at the top. And then our B runner is here in gray, and a C runner is there in purple. These are looking to be the standard 30 Minute Sisters joint runners that we've had. It would be the same as what you get in like the main kit. And then for option body parts, color B here, we got a little bit different style there for the body, obviously. Got some pictures up here at the top of how it's going to look in actual kit form and then like some of the option parts you have included there with that. On the back side, again, just about customizing that by mixing it with 30 minutes missions parts. And the great thing about these sets is not only does it give you option parts for just the the parts themselves being different, but you can then mix and match the parts for different color variations and things like that. It's the same thing like what they've been doing with the 30 minutes missions line. They release like the same option parts and the kits out in multiple different colors. And you, so you can make like custom color scheme uh, suits, mechas and things like that by just getting multiple different color versions of things and then mixing and matching parts. So you don't even need necessarily even have to paint to get some custom color schemes. And you can do the same thing with these. So again, here is the instructions for putting everything together there in the 
back side of the paper there. Our A is in four colors, got one little black part there, some skin tone over here, some gray, and a very interesting color, kind of Kelly green color there for that. And then orders B and C are our generic 30 Minute Sisters joint runners. They are in gray and once again in that green color. All right, one final option set that I want to check out in this video is not actually 30 Minutes Sisters, but this is a 30 Minutes Missions option set, and this is the Customized Weapons Witchcraft weapon. And that is because not only do I think these weapons actually probably look like they'll be more suited to fit with like the 30 Minutes Sisters design, just because they're, you know, a little bit more kind of organic looking, I don't know, not necessarily like robot, like giant mecha robot weapons. But the 30 Minutes Sisters kits don't have a lot of like weapon option parts out specifically for them quite yet, as because you're just kind of meant to be able to use any of the 30 minutes missions option parts and option weapons as like the actual weapons parts so that's what I want to try here with this witchcraft weapon set so there's a look at what's included on the back side you got some more images of just the different things you can make here with this set and it looks like a pretty fun little set our instructions for putting it all together are just printed on the back side of there and how the shield can be used with the hand like that that looks really cool and some more of the instructions. For the runners themselves, we've just got two runners here, option weapon F1 there in gray, including some hand parts there for that. So I'm interested to see if those hand parts will be compatible with the 30 Minute Sisters kits as well. I'm assuming they will be, but we'll not know until we try. And then this runner here is option weapon F2 in this very nice, bright, fluorescent, clear green, which looks very cool. All right, so here is our A body parts all built up. There's also another piece up here that sits right on there for the neck, but that doesn't really stay on unless you have the neck in place. It doesn't really plug onto anything. It's held in place once you get the neck in there, but that is basically it. I like the colors and the design of this one looks pretty cool. Now, of course, you have the full set of connection pieces in the same purple piece. There's for the upper arms, here's for around the wrist, you've got those. You've also got the optional connection pieces here for the thighs. And then just to make sure everything is color coordinated, you do also have the parts for the bottom of the feet in this same color. So in case you're not painting whatever, you know, you're actually using these colors. You want everything to be all matching. All of your colors can match with these parts for the feet as well. Now you do also have a couple little extra bits. You've got this adapter piece for plugging the heads onto the 30 Minutes Sisters heads onto 30 Minutes Missions bodies. And you've got this same backpack adapter piece thrown in there as well. Now for trying this out, I'm gonna use this here with the Rishetta kit. And obviously, as you can tell, there's a little bit difference in the proportion sizes. And one thing that I mentioned in my review of the Tiasha kit is that even between the two of those, there was some difference in the proportions, mostly there in the thighs and like around the hip section. So using a body like this, obviously going to be a very big change for the Tiasha. So I do, I am curious to see how that's gonna look as well. So we'll try that out. But first let's try it out with the Rishetta here. We're just going to take the neck from the kit, pop it onto here, and then the arms, take those off uh, below the colored rings there on the arms. Now, even though all your color accents will match and that they'll all be that purple accent color, uh, the suit is gonna be a mix of black and gray with uh, the parts that we've got here, the new parts being mostly gray with a little bit of black. It's the opposite for the arms and legs parts. They're mostly black with a little bit of gray. We'll also change the parts here on the feet. You could even leave it like half and half to have like all purple and then just like the one orange X on the, on the one shoe. I think that does actually look kind of cool, but we'll just go ahead and switch both of them. So here's how she's going to look there with her brand new body. And yeah, looking very pleased with herself. I think one of the great things about this line is just going to be all the different mixing and matching that you can do with this. I think that's going to make it a lot of fun. Like say, for example, you wanted to use these new body parts, but you wanted to keep the flesh tone color parts for the upper thighs, you can do that. Or you can go for these just gray parts if you wanted to leave less skin showing. Unfortunately, there aren't many option parts for like, normally if this was a Kotobuki kit, probably for that, uh, skin tone color piece like there in the center for her stomach. If this were a Kotobuki kit, we would probably have an option for that to be either in skin tone or in like the same gray or black color uh, to be covered up if that's what you wanted to do. Unfortunately with these, uh, having like optional color parts within the set is not something that seems to be like they're gonna be doing much of aside from like the shoes and like the ring like color attachment parts, like the color attachment parts, but like for the actual suit, it seems like you're just gonna not really have too many options for those maybe. And like I said, in use on the Tiasha kit, it's certainly going to give you some big changes from the original kit. Now, another thing that some of the Kotobuki kits struggle with is that some of the different kits, uh, like as far as mixing and matching them, the legs at like the middle of the thigh, where you have like the upper part of the thigh and the lower part of the thigh, which is usually like matching with the rest of the leg, those don't always line up in terms of like their width. It would be nice if they all did, but at least with the Bandai, what they seem to be doing with these, where like even where they have 
parts where like the top of the thigh is a little bit different between the two kits, the actual connection piece is the same width. So even if you're using like the larger thigh pieces, it's still gonna come down to being the same width. So you're not gonna have uh, differences there where you would have to either add a putty or do some sanding or anything to try to make the, the widths of those match up. So that's good if you guys can follow what I'm talking about there. For the B body parts here, it looks very nice with that nice green color. Once again with these, got the full set of connector pieces for the thighs, the wrists, the upper arms. Got our green pieces here for the bottom of the shoes and the same backpack and neck connector pieces, all that standard as well as once again a neck piece that doesn't really plug onto anything but fits in there once you have the neck actually on it. Another thing that I haven't really talked about with these as of yet is that they all have their own kind of separate little animal kind of chibi character there on the front of the chest piece. This one in this case being like a little teddy bear. The A option set has a little fox. The Tiasha kit has a kind of like a eagle sort of thing I suppose. And the Rochetta one is also sort of like a cat or some sort of, anyway, sort of looks like a weird mix between a cat and a fox, I don't know. But with our B body type, it's definitely more similar to the Tiasha in terms of having the smaller hips and thigh sections compared to that of the A option body uh, and the Rochetta body having a larger type. So it's definitely more, seems to be made more for Tiasha. But once again, with this set, we will check out both to see how they both look. Definitely that makes the green eyes and the green accents on the body match a little bit nicer than what we had with the original body, the green eyes with the red and black suit. I didn't really feel like that matched all that well. Now with this set as well, once again, it just makes for a really nice option for customizing your kits, giving you some different options. And definitely now it makes me want to get multiples of like the main bodies whenever like the main kits come out, the Rochetta and the Tiasha. Gonna need multiples of those so I can have them in having the different body types here, which is just really nice for some different options. But again, it's nice that even though they're giving us a couple of different like body proportions, that everything's still perfectly compatible and you don't need to worry about like even though there's one body type that is a little bit smaller than the other, you can still use any of the different parts with like between them and you can mix and match. Obviously that's something I'm gonna be just mentioning a lot over the course of this video, but again, that's the whole name of the game with all this stuff is the customizability, being able to swap and mix everything, so. So all of our parts here for the speed armor are essentially basically meant. So all of our parts for the speed armor here are basically meant for the Rochetta. So that's what we we'll use these on. Like especially this part here for the ears just fits on top of that black piece that we already got with the main kit. That's gonna look like that on the head. And the armor pieces for the claws and the upper arms will require you to have these armor pieces on there already. So basically you won't be able to use this speed armor with anything but the Rochetta unless you also have this armor if you want to use it like in this exact way because it's all like working together. So like if you had the speed armor set and you wanted to use it on the Tiasha kit, you wouldn't be able to use it exactly in the same way because you don't have this armor piece here for the shoulder that only comes with the Rochetta. You, I mean, could use the parts creatively in different ways, but if you want to use it as like it's displayed, here's how that claw attaches onto the claw that we have included here with that. That pops onto there like so and looks pretty cool. Now you've got a big claw. This little dagger piece will plug into the end of the tail here like that. And then we have these armor pieces that will plug onto the front of the leg. Now these should be compatible with the, by putting them on the front of the legs of the Tiasha. So I think the hard points would line up and just be the same. It's got the same hard points on the legs. Those fit onto the front of it like that. These ones on the side are the ones that came with the original kit. And so with the full speed armor on there, there's how those look. And the last thing is just swapping out the feet. So we're just going to get rid of those, swap out for these new big tiger claw shoes, which are much larger in comparison. I do like the design of them, but I, I wish they were not quite as large and not entirely yellow. I wish that the top part was black because once you have all of the parts on there, you get down to the feet and they do look like some pretty large feet on there. I mean, it's got the large claws on the hands and I understand because that's like the main weapon, but having such large feet seems kind of weird. I don't really like the size of those. And the other thing we have included is a set of thigh pieces here, top and bottom half of the thighs. Now I'm not sure what's really all that different about the main thigh section, the skin tone color section. So if we take a look at these side by side, size wise, they look to be basically the same. The color does look very, very slightly different and the connector peg is the bottom, is the same at the bottom. So anyway, what these will give you the ability to do is then connect 30 minutes missions legs onto your kit here. And I was gonna say, let me just keep the Rochetta here in her speed armor 
and try out the new legs on the Tiasha kit, but if you remember correctly, uh, these larger size thighs don't fit in the waist section for the Tiasha body, so we'll just try out the legs here uh, in a bit. As a first, just want to take a minute to get a good look around the speed armor here. It's definitely very cool, and especially if you wanted something with a tiger aesthetic to it, it certainly fits that, and that's obviously just if you're leaving it in these colors. of If you paint it in some different colors, you could get kind of a different effect about, out of it, but it certainly seems to be going for the effect of looking very tigerly with the black and white uh, colors and that kind of stripey pattern by the way that there's like the gaps in the armor to look like stripes sort of. So it's a cool aesthetic, definitely fits with the kit pretty well actually. I was not sure when this was first announced, I thought it, it looked a little bit kind of silly to be honest, but now like actually getting it and trying it out on the kit, it's pretty fun. I actually quite like it. And again, this is all just taking it at its most basic value. Obviously, if you were to go even further and customize this further with other option parts and other weapons, things like that, you can make something super cool out of this, I think. And so that's definitely something Thing that I'll have to just play around with some more in the future. Now just real quickly to also try out those leg adapter pieces for kit bashing with a 30 minutes missions kit. Here's some weapons parts and lower leg parts from the 30 minutes missions Esposito. Unfortunately all the rest of my 30 minutes missions kits are all currently packed. This is the only one that I have out that I can show you guys in a moment but there's just the shield part and the rifle parts added on to some parts here mixed with the type 01 body parts and the head and arms from the Tiasha. So anyway, it's a mix of parts here from a, a number of different kits, just and that's just perfectly illustrative of how you can mix all a bunch of parts and still come up with something pretty cool. And it literally took me like 30 seconds to put that together just with a few kits that I had here on hand. So very cool options there for allowing you to give it some kind of combination legs of the thigh parts from the 30 Minute Sisters kits, and then you can connect some lower leg from the 30 Minutes Missions kits. So I can see some very cool options coming about from that. Well, so even though I was planning to try out this kit with a 30 Minute Sisters line, uh, unfortunately, it seems like that's not really going to be as easy as I expected. Let me show you guys why, and then I guess we'll just have to review it for the time being using the Esposito 30 Minutes Missions kit. First up, we've got our shield, which is just made up of two sections here. You could use just the gray part, or you can combine that here with the clear green part, but both of those is just a male connection piece, which uh, if I wanted to attach this onto the arm here, that's not gonna work. I need some sort of connection piece for that. The other option is that we get this cool set of hands with this set, and then you can plug the shield into the hand like that. Unfortunately, the wrist joint is also different, so that's not gonna work. I was hoping that even though this is like robot hands, it should be able to be used with this was uh, my dream, but unfortunately not. Now that, okay, well, at least we can try out the weapons with this kit, but then we run into the other problem, which is that these hands, unlike the Kotobuki hands, like the Frame Arms Girl and Megami Device hands, the fingers are kind of flexible. They're made with a little bit softer type plastic so that the fingers can flex. You can like open the hands a little bit to fit the handle in there. These aren't like that. These hands are pretty solid and you can't really bend the fingers out of the way in order to get a good grip on this. So basically the only way you're gonna get anything into these hands is if it can just slot through. So if it was something that could actually go through the hand like that, but obviously this is not gonna work. This whole staff piece is just all one section, so I can't like take it apart and slot it through the hand and put it back together. So I, if I wanted to do that, I would have to cut and modify this or something, because otherwise there's just no way it's gonna be able to grab onto that. So trying this this uh, set out here with 30 Minute Sister Line is just not gonna work. If you do wanna use this set with a 30 Minute Sister Line, there it's a good, learning experience to share with you guys in that you just can't do it without any modifications. So just taking a look at some other different ways that you can make this. So here is one way to make the staff with just this kind of like magical ending on the end of there. But you can take off that kind of crystal gem looking bit and replace it with this uh, circular like green ball part if you like that. Alternatively, we can use this and a winged piece there like that. And we've got our different effect parts. So this kind of like sword looking effect part and this little bit larger sword or like claymore kind of shaped effect part or this like whip shaped effect part like that which is also pretty cool or if we take this off and flip it around the other way we can put our little ball on the end of there take off this little connection piece which is just like a male to male connector piece there at the top of that switch this around put that on there like that and then we've got our kind of magic looking staff here with just the green ball at the end which is also pretty cool alternatively we do also have the kind of scythe blade now you can combine these using this connection piece like that if you wanted to have it like that with both or if we just omit that part there at the center basically just kind of 
meant to be like that or maybe the other way like that. No matter how you want to do that, you've got some options here, so that's really cool. You can also use this part in combination with this part like this. Do one of these like that if you wanted to combine it up that way. And this green ball has two different points here. One is that small little square and one is the large circle. So that's what kind of allows you to be able to use this on like in multiple different ways here with that. You can plug it on, I guess, one way or the other on there. So anyway, lots of options there with that staff. And these effect parts should be able to be used with other different 30 minutes missions weapon sets. So if you just had like just a shorter uh, sword handle piece, which we don't have anything to use here with this, but if you had that from a different set, then you should be able to use this blade uh, with that. I'm not sure exactly off the top of my head which weapon set you would have to have, but I'm sure there's other weapon sets that just have like smaller, just like sword handle. If you wanted to just turn this into like, again, like a sword or claymore type weapon here with just using this green effect part, which is, a re they're really nice effect parts. I do really quite like these. And also the manual does even illustrate for you to cut the staff right here if you wanted to just make the top part without having this lower section right there. You can see that the separation, that kind of like a line right there is a little bit deeper. So where you could separate that and just have this top part as like a separate thing. And then I suppose you could use this as your sword handle, this end. We've got that same little square peg on there. So we plug our little adapter piece onto here and then this bit onto the end of that like that. So you could make this as two separate weapons by just clipping that apart right there. Just kind of a longer handle for like a sword and then like this staff being like a separate thing. So actually I'm now kind of tempted to get another of this weapon set just so I can do that. Cause I like this in like its full length, but I'm also tempted to cut this apart and turn it into two separate weapons. I think that does sound like a cool idea. So unfortunately I don't really think that the Esposito is really kind of the best match for this weapon style, but that's all I have uh, on hand at the moment to be able to test this out with a 30 minutes missions kit. I was hoping to test this weapon set out with the 30 minutes sisters, but I will just have to make do. So I'll show you guys a few different options, but as you can see, there's a bunch of different options and ways that you can have this staff weapon. And it is really cool and it is definitely tempting to go ahead and pick up another one of this set because I do really like a lot of the options that we have with this. And if you have to just choose one, it's kind of hard to do that, to be honest. The effect parts are really nice. I think that definitely makes this set if those effect parts weren't included or if they were or just like this regular gray plastic or something i think it may not be quite as exciting but the fact that those are in a really cool clear fluorescent green color that does make this set that much more interesting so i think that was a really good uh way to give us a new weapon set that has a little bit more kind of magical feeling to it whereas a lot of the weapon sets have been like guns swords kind of your typical weapons not necessarily anything with like a, this same kind of a little bit more fantastical feel to it so it's cool to get some variety here with that but with that guys, as you can see, all the hair option parts look very cool and you've got a lot to choose from with these first two sets and there'll be plenty more on the way. So with that, I think we can bring this lengthy review video to a close now that we've covered a bunch of the option sets that are currently out. There's some more and there's always more on the way. So we'll do some more in the future, but hopefully this video uh, has been helpful and informative to you guys if you're in the market for checking out some of these different option sets. They're very cool, very affordable as well. So they're the kind of things that you can get multiples of and not really break the bank if you want to just play around with them and just have lots of different options and things like that. So great stuff and I highly recommend you guys check them out. If you want to do that at USA Gundam Store, we'll have the link and the coupon code for you guys to use down in the video description down below as always so you can check that out. My final question to you guys would be for future option sets, what would you guys like to see come out? For me, I would like to see some more hand options coming out. So far, we've only got the close fist and the holding hands. I'd like to see uh, a set that includes some different hands, like just open expressive hands or peace sign hands or things like that, just to be able to make the kits a little bit more expressive. Also, maybe some sets that include just like uh, bare skin tone arms and legs that so far we don't have that either. But what are your guys' thoughts and opinions? Let me know down in the comment section below. If you'd like to like the video or subscribe to the channel, that would also be greatly appreciated. Thank you guys all so much for the support. Until next time, hope you all are having a great day. See y'all later. Bye-bye.